how do we optimize the maintenance program okay or the reliability okay or this integrated reliability that we have just mentioned now reliability of the people reliability of the equipment and reliability of the process so the first thing that you need to do to optimize your plant reliability is to know your plant know on the reliability chart or journey know precisely where your plant is okay where you are on the curve so and that you can do by collecting reliability information data on each of these components or on the, each of these equipment of your facility on the assets of your facility so you collect both live data and uh, information from your maintenance record okay and the uh, equipment record for you to understand precisely this equipment so you get your maintenance record failure data live data from your cmms and uh, what have you okay all of this will help you to know precisely where you are on the reliability journey so when you have known where you are hmm, that will help you to understand your current situation as against the world benchmark as we said earlier okay or industry benchmark okay or the reliability uh, level which could be the next step maybe not the world benchmark that you actually want to attain are you getting it so once you are able to identify that gap between where you are and where you want to go on the reliability journey that will help you to set your reliability objectives okay set the reliability objectives what you hope to achieve from your reliability programs then once you have been able to determine what you need to achieve okay from your uh, reliabilities centered or let me say from your reliability analysis and what have you you'll be able to develop options different options that could take you from where you are to the next level on your reliability journey okay now once you have these different options you will now know which of these options that are more feasible considering your present situation as in the skill levels and uh, what will be involved financially i will get into it and also what you have on ground because that is one of the reasons why most liability programs they fail they acquire or they buy liability programs without trying to see what they have on ground and how they can integrate or how that program is integratable with what they have on ground of course if it is not integratable you see that the reliability program that you bring will just die a natural death okay so if it is integratable with what you have on ground you see that it will be easier for your personnel your employees to actually buying into the reliability program own it and then use it to improve the process because you are using what you have on ground the skills that you have on ground maybe with little uh, orientation and training you see that you will be able to bridge the gap faster okay now evaluating the roadmaps as we have said earlier you look at the one that is more feasible are you getting it from these different options okay and then finally you implement okay so as you are implementing of course you will see areas that uh, you actually did not capture in your first 
analysis or in the first process okay you capture that then there's always room for continuous improvement you feed that back into the first stage of your of the process and then the process continues until you get to the level that you actually want to go so now like we said before you need to choose from the various options that you have okay the road map that is more feasible to you of course there are some that are low cost those low hanging fruits in your reliability journey once you identify them you just deploy them immediately are we getting it and then you reap the benefit so the savings that you have from those low hanging fruits of course you can reverse them into more technologically oriented or dependent reliability programs until you are able to get to where you need to go so those low hanging fruits are those that have a payback period of between zero and uh, one year and one notable one is a uh, uh, the PM optimization roadmap, preventive maintenance or your maintenance optimization program or plant maintenance optimization program that will come out from the analysis. Okay, at the end of the, those ones, they are easy to implement because that will look at what you have on ground and how to improve what you have on ground. So the payback of that process is usually less than six months. Okay, then those that are technologically base oriented, you know, we need to acquire the technology and train, uh, train your personnel on how to use those technology to improve the reliability of your system. So that will take some time. Okay, we need time to procure, need time to train, we need time to deploy. Okay. And then we need time to start seeing the benefits. So that will take some time. So once we determine the roadmaps that are feasible, we we'll start deploying them one after the other. And of course, ultimately, if we do them, because this is one of the problems we have, maybe we'll, we'll buy a, a reliability program that is the software program into us there. and then all we do we call in a, a, a reliability specialist like us now to come and uh, do reliability analysis okay in our facility after the reliability analysis definitely some recommendations will come those recommendations that comes after spending that some of uh, uh, that resources on the program do we deploy or do we uh, use the recommendations or do we deploy those recommendations from that analysis most of us don't and that is one of the reasons why you see that we deploy reliability program for one year and then the reliability program will just collapse okay so if we do all of this you see that all of those factors that are associated with uh, under optimized reliability strategies or programs will not have them in our system then the world benchmark kpis key performance indicators you see that we will be approaching and even exceeding them uh, overall equipment effectiveness especially when we are in the manufacturing sector because we will be looking at uh, the efficiency of the system we'll be looking at the availability of the system and the product quality okay or the throughput of uh, the system so the asset availability we'll see that it will also be approaching or going beyond that 98 percent the equipment maintenance cost will see that uh, it will go down and uh, the ratio of the equipment maintenance cost to the replacement value 
we'll definitely come down. So we'll see us meeting the industry standard of this the various KPIs if we if our system is uh, optimized. 